Today we're going to Van Expo here in Philly and since all the transporters are full we're going to take a shuttlecraft over so let's get going. I've been to some Star Trek conventions before but not specifically Fan Expo nor Comic Con where it's not just Star Trek. I do like both Star Trek and Star Wars. Star Trek a bit more if you ask me, and although Fan Expo does have other themes, I'm going to focus more on Star Trek here, starting with this booth from Project Stardate. We have the original prop from the USS Voyager episode here and here. Now the audio wasn't really good because it was pretty noisy, but basically they had some original props and costumes from the Star Trek series here. I got to touch the actual handrail that was used in Star Trek Voyager's engineering room, which was pretty cool. They also had other props such as a phaser rifle, door panels, and also isolinea chips. Being a Star Wars fan as well, I also had to stop by the Star Wars booth. I walked up to them saying, I know, I know, wrong costume, and they said, it's okay, we'll let you live for now. There were lots of artists selling their work. A few of them which we picked up because they were pretty cool. For example, this large Mulan drawing was beautifully done. We also got a Star Trek and Star Wars metal art. I was able to do a photo op with Jonathan Frakes here at Fan Expo which was pretty awesome. As a matter of fact, this is the first time I've done a photo op with any celebrity and it is what it sounds like. It's just a photo op so it's not a meet and greet session. It's a 30 second hello, take a picture and then move on to the next person. And yeah, it kind of stinks that there's the plexiglass that's in a way due to the COVID-19 pandemic. But with a little bit of editing magic, we can take that away. For the physical photo frame, I'm trying to decide whether to print the edited image and replace the original one, but the original one shows how things were. The picture was taken during a time where COVID-19 is still around the globe. As brief as that was, it was great seeing the person that played Commander William T. Riker in person. And those of you that are Star Trek fans, you know what I just did. Outside of the photo op, I was able to attend the main stage and see some celebrities talk, one of which is John Delancey, who plays the character Q in Star Trek. I was able to take the opportunity and go up to the mic and ask him a question. And I basically asked him, if you had control of all the Star Trek series and all the Star Trek movies, outside of the next generation, which one would you pick to either add a Q presence or to build out more of a Q presence and why? And he basically said he would still pick the next generation because that's kind of the natural setting that his character really fits in. And in Star Trek Voyager, when he played Q, he felt like the directors really restricted his role in terms of what he can and can't do. In one of the events in Fan Expo, I was able to participate in a Star Trek versus Star Wars debate. Yep, you got a whole room full of nerds taking either the Star Trek side or the Star Wars side. And this is fan driven. The moderator collected questions from the audience at the beginning and then asked for volunteers. And for me, I was a little bit hesitant, but I decided to volunteer anyway. So this was actually also my first Star Trek versus Star Wars debate. And I said, well, let's just see how it goes. There were a lot of good questions and surprisingly in-depth questions. And mentally, I was preparing for more of the technical questions but there was a little surprise twist, which I'll cover later on. They asked questions such as the Borg versus the Sith, who would win, which one had the more sinister villain, and also which one better shows the civilian impact during a war. I was up during the first half of the debate, so I was taking on the Borg versus Sith question, saying that basically the Borg had better technology including time travel, advanced communications, and also, of course, the ability to adapt. And also when talking more about the villains, I pulled the Species 8472 card and talk about them versus the Borg. One of the last questions, if not the last question, was which one outlined family issues more, Star Wars or Star Trek? 
And this was a really good question because with Star Trek, I felt like they went broad on the family issues, but with Star Wars, they really go in depth when it comes to this subject. So for this one, I gotta hand it over to the Star Wars folks. Each response was timed and you had up to three minutes to respond. And overall, I felt like this was a civilized event and I definitely had fun. Here's another Starfleet captain. And then finally, one of the last events that we went to was the red carpet event. This is where you can literally go down the red carpet, strike a pose, show off your work, and then have photographers take pictures of you. And that's it for that day in Philly for Fan Expo 2022. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as always. Live long and prosper.